Hi guys, today we've got Adrian here from United Grossels and today um, he, became, he came first place in Nuremberg so tell us something about your deck today Hi guys, today I played Sky Strikers again <laughs> like for the 17th time and yeah, I'm going to represent my deck right now uh, I played Triple Ray, super basic and Triple Ash Blossom as my only monsters today without Pancratops Funny ways because I tried to uh, change up my deck for some reasons, because I was ago one week or two weeks uh, at the Milan region, and I scrapped totally. Like I lost two super bad players, and I was uh, thinking like, do I, do I have to change my deck or something else? So I changed a uh, kind of new version, and so I just planned to play only Ash Blossom as my only hand trap and without Panko Tops or Flight Gates. So we are going now to the spell cards. Triple engage. Triple Widow Inca and Triple Multi Roll as well. Three ops of the Sky Striker spells, which is super basic. Uh, just two area zeros because I never want to see multiple ones because they are super cloggy. Uh, double Shark Can and Double Gem Waves because these cards are super good going second. It breaks everything. Like you can always enable it into another place if you want to go into higher link rating with this card, or you just bait all the judgment. And the most matchups like Salomon Great or August. <laughs> Play one Afterburner and one Honor Drones, as with one of Sky, Sky, Sky Striker spells. I don't like Afterburners because it uses it, in most times it does, it does nothing because Widow Anchor takes everything off you, if you want to take off, but sometimes you need just to clear one floodgate, so Afterburner is at one fine, but in most times I cited it out. <clears throat> For the non Sky Strikers plates, I played Double Terraforming, Triple Port of Desires. I really like this card because it was always pushing into another good cards, and I never was able to banish my whole life. So it worked out for me. Was this a new card today, or uh, did you play it earlier? Uh, it, it was a new card because in most times of my builds, I really never cared about consistency or something else. Like I was playing a lot of blood gates or hand traps just to interrupt my opponent and now I'm going to focus to, to get my own place through inst instead of interrupt my opponent. And I play triple MSTs. Yeah, the, the perfect rarity. <laughs> <laughs> the platinum rare MSTs. <laughs> I, I really like MST because it's way better than Twin Twisters in most scenarios, first of all. It's more flexible just to pop one back row instead of two. And for example, you're playing against Salomon Great or August, you always use Twin Twister, you discard one card, and you just get the one, uh, the judgment out, out of your opponent's back row. So you go minus one. It's good if you have Metal for Fusion, but that's super rare. Yeah, I getcha. When I played Double Polish Goods and one Metal for Fusion, I'm thinking about playing either the Pancrotop Speed Spell, the World Dino Rest or something else, oh, okay. which can smash some Pancrotops if it's in Graveyard, or Galaxy Cyclone, just to get more uh, options out of this card, and because of Pot of Desires, in case I'm banishing my Fusion. Basic, one Reinforcement, one Upside Goblin, and one Monster Reborn. This card is insane, like, uh, I'm choosing to go always second, and this card either enables you big link plays, for example, you can go into Bomber Ring or Ningears or something else, or it can revive your Kagari, which is like out of nowhere, and you can grab your Engage back to hand, which makes so much plus. Did you play the Mirrors today? Uh, no, I had today luckily zero Mirror matches. <laughs> But the mirror match, it's not that good because you have Shark and to special some to open and Kagaris. I see. So, yeah. it's a, so it's okay, but it's super intense against Salomon Great just to special one link to fire monster to go into Heater or to go directly into Ningis or Bomber Drain. Yeah. And last but not least, the card of the day, Triple Mystic Mine. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect card. <laughs> like, the most games I won was like. Yeah, I'm going second, using MSTs, 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 until your opponent has no negate or something else. Yeah. And then just place the card and sit on your resources and try to loop your engage with multi-roll something else. 
and after two or three turns you have so many resources you just kill your opponent so i saw like today uh, during one of the rounds you had to play against your teammate <laughs> how how did the uh, the music mind work there <laughs> <laughs> okay, so show us your extra deck then. For my extra deck, which is super basic, I think, I played Triple Shizuku, Triple Hayate, one Kagari, and one Kaina. Sometimes I'm thinking about playing two Kainas, because in most cases, I'm if I go for example Ray Field spell, I want to summon Kaina. Because in the, some turns you just uh, want to go into Hayate, poke because of Mystic Man and uh, just send it to the graveyard. Yeah. So you need the, these 1 5 damage for the next turns. So sometimes if you have to waste one, you can always waste the cake. Yeah. But that's not so super important. Also, space is like really, really yeah. tight, right? Yeah. For the next basic link, once I play 1 Phoenix, 1 Triple Burst. One heater, one bombard ring, and one Yezu. Yeah. Like, these two are insane. Like, at each turn, you will summon these because you are playing so often against Solomon Gate. Sometimes you will also summon, summon them against Orcus because they used uh, Phoenix to summon with Peter, your opponent's Phoenix, to go into Nikki's or bombard ring. But these are super broken. And uh, these are mostly okay. But there, there are no better options, in my opinion. And they do their job. And last but not least, I played uh, two super poly tights in my extra deck. This card for Solomon Great and this card for Thunder Dragon or Orcust. Okay. So right now we are going into the side deck where we have another super poly tight. It's the Prayer Plant Tycho Stapia. Because of a lot of fear against uh, Panel Magicians, which is, I think, the worst matchup you can have. <laughs> uh, you just need this card. At first I, I was thinking, okay, my opponent has always Dark Monsters, so I just need this card. But it's not true. <laughs> Funny ways, they, they are all, all ending so often with, I don't know, FA Dragster and other Negates and Vortex, which aren't Dark, so you just need one another target. So I just uh, used this as 15 side deck card. So we would just swap out uh, yeah. the Salaman Great for this card then? Correct. Yeah. And respectively with two super polymerizations. And yeah, for the rest, uh, I played Triple F Artifact Lens here. It's one of my favorite hand traps right now against Orcus because if your opponent goes connector, he will face one. 1 1 2 with 1 7, which is fine. You can drop it off immediately. It's also fi funny against the uh, mind burn. Like, you just can't play it. You, you go mi minus 1, but he can use his uh, pot of extra regards. So it's uh, kind of funny. And it's uh, better to have something like this uh, in exchange to other cards, which are super dead. Uh, then I played uh, Triple Tune Twister for mirror matches and all other decks, which have a lot of back rows. Uh, Triple Ghost Ogre for the mirror match and panel matchup. And I decided to play my favorite Bloodgate right now uh, three times just in case I'm thinking my opponent is go deciding for going second or for going first, like aggressively, because I choose let to let him go first in game one. So I can just side this card into him and just flip it, and they have zero to now to. Nothing against it, and it's super fine. Did it come up today, or? Uh, yeah, j just once, but <laughs> it was funny. I was thinking my opponent let me start. Yeah. So I decided to in, and he goes full combo with Solomon Grades, and I, and I was just able to negate his uh, judgment, like with MSC or Jim Waves or something else. And then the next turn, I just flipped on, and they had just like one eight beat stick and attack the whole two or three turns, and afterwards I was in. Able to get into my place, so it rescued me. <laughs> okay. Anything special with your matchups today, or anything, or just like regular meta? <laughs> um, it was the first time, like since a long time, that I had in all my rounds only meta games. Like the worst deck I played was uh, Subterranean Round One. Yeah, in Round One, and it was funny to see, like 
And most regionals I play, I play like in any round, like once per day against something rogue like crystals, I don't know. Yeah. And this one was the first event since a long time that I had only meta meta matchups, which was quite interesting, which is uh, also good to practice for my nat nationals. Yeah. So and no, I didn't see anything special today. Okay. Oh no no no! I, I should have played the. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> Shoutouts. <laughs> Maybe we will see it in the future, I hope. You hope. <laughs> okay. Well, anything else you want to say? Someone to greet or anything? Oh, yeah. Shoutouts shout -out to Ultimate Guard, Ovayo, my team, Ray, for, for doing this work right now. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Well, until next time, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.